Hello, my name is Frédéric Fontaine. I'm captain on the 737-800 with my colleague here, first officer, David Gray. That's it, David Gray, first officer. So hello again everybody, my name is David Gray. I'm first officer within Air Austral. Before I was flying in uh, all over Europe and now I'm, I'm enjoying myself flying in the southwest of the Indian Ocean. And uh, I'd like to give you some, um, some, some information about all the good features fitted on this aircraft, which is really well equipped, I have to admit, for 737-800. And uh, what I'm going to tell you about is this uh, SATCOM that we have here in the, uh, in the radio boxes. You see these two little buttons, SAT1 and 2, that's linked to our FMC. So here when I go into the menu page, I got this SAT communication. So the SATCOM is really handy. We're flying mainly over the uh, Indian Ocean, so if we have any, any kind of problem, it could be sometime hard to reach any ATC. So with the SATCOM, you can have satellite access to, the, uh, to any ATC or medical assistance or even the company. On the map mode, you can, on pressing center, you got different, different settings. Here is more conventional with the uh, showing the rows of the uh, of the headings you could also have this one that is really handy we will fly we, we could fly the approach to in uh, in Saudi with this in because this for now it's showing only from uh, 20 24 south all the way to I mean to our cruising level and higher but when we go down it shows all the uh, all the grounds and terrain so it's it's actually really good when it's in the database it's Excellent. Rainion 255, good, uh, good morning again, sir. Rainion 255, we are released by Tana, passing flight level uh, 315, descending to flight level 250. Do you have any traffic reported for our descent? Negative, Rainion 255, no traffic reported. Uh, you are non-controlled at the space uh, G class, uh, report to 5 miles from Delta Zulu Papa. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Speed break up. Reverse uh, green. Nine Six hundred meters remaining. Sixty knots. Auto break in. Auto break is out. I have control. You have control. So now we've just landed in Zaozi. We're going to do a quick walk around just before we head off to Moroni, which is the uh, island next door. So first of all, you start with the um, with this area. You got to check the landing gear. Actually, the nose landing gear to see if there is any leak of. Of hydraulic, for example, we see on, this is only condensation from the water, so that's not a problem. Check the uh, state of the tire to see if there is any damage. No, I don't see anything. No leak. The door is good. There is no impact of birds whatsoever. So there, you got the outflow valve. This is the uh, APU inlet. It's extremely noisy. I'm just checking the. Uh, the router over there is looking good. And then uh, the leaning edge of the stabilizer. We also, I also check all the little static poles to see that they're all there. So we need three over here, they're there. V1. Rotate. Positive right. Gear up. 
flaps up, no light. The standard. Cloud is set. Check plan of all 3 1. Now. Check 0. Up to take a checklist. That's we go. And it starts with choose up. Off. So, engine bid on. Back, auto. And landing gear up and up. Flaps up, no light. Left third, I got check this, check this is complete. Boy on top. Boy on top. Top set. Agree. Execute. Execute. El nav is available. To the nav. El nav set. Maroni approach, Iranian 255 on 119, decimal 7. Good morning. Iranian 255, Maroni, good morning, go ahead. Iranian 255, airborne from Zaud Z at 0704, claiming 2 flight level 260. We are estimating uh, Moeli at uh, 0723 and your field 0739. Mr. Approach altitude 8000. Set. Check. Check. 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed brake up. Reverse green. V1. Rotate. Gear up. We have another traffic that is actually going to Zaozi, and it's the same same airline, Air Austral 737-800, and it's one thousand feet below, slightly on the the right. Hi guys. We, we've just checked one, once again the weather, and uh, surprise, surprise, we're going to have to fly a VOR DMB approach on runway 30, which is the only approach available on that runway, and the weather has changed, so you're going to see this in, in real for real. So, as you say, it's now the runway 30 in use, so uh, for the first part of the approach, I mean the, the standard arrival, it's quite the same, we've proceeded from the boot until uh, 30 DME Sierra Delta Golf. Then we will turn right, uh, track 178 to intercept the 313 radial from Sierra Delta Golf. We will descend to uh, 6,000 feet. Check. We will proceed uh, over at Sierra Delta Golf. Then we will fly on radial 109 Check. until 20 DME, then a little right turn, fly to Airbus. The VOR DME uh, runway 30, the final axis is uh, 303. The Check. platform altitude is 3,000 feet. We will start our descent at 8.9 from Sierra Delta Golf. It is a non-standard glide slope. It's 3.7 degrees for runway 3-0. Check in the FMC. J. Radian 256, I Okay. Runway is now runway in sight. Wet. Approaching runway minimums. Runway in sight. Minimums. Landing. Check. No, 100. Okay, I'll see. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Speed break up. Two versus three. Yes, very nice. Interesting and welcome back to Shido.